So uh, this is really uh, where the strength is. Um, and this is something that we expect to change over time because more and more people are coming online. Um, one of the things that you might notice, which is a little bit uh, fun, is that uh, you know, we have, for example, the, uh, the Dutch Wikipedia and the Swedish Wikipedia are very, very large, even though there are not that many people who are speaking. I just came from Norway. Norway has uh, fewer than five million people are speaking uh, Bukmal, the main language of Norway, and yet they have 230,000 articles. So I always say one of the factors that contributes to the growth of uh, Wikipedia language is um, cold weather. Um, I mean, in, in, in Italy, in, in, uh, you know, in the evenings, you can go out for a stroll and have some gelato, and uh, in Sweden, you just stay inside and work on Wikipedia because it's too cold to go out. But, uh, uh, well, I'm joking, but I'm not so sure it's all a joke. Um, we can look here at the uh, Hindi Wikipedia, though, in contrast. So Hindi is the largest language of India, um, and Hindi has more than 280 million uh, speakers. Uh, and so uh, in comparison to these other languages, it's very, very far behind. Um, and what are the reasons for that? Well, the reasons are all of the obvious reasons. Um, in, uh, in the Hindi language, the r rate of literacy is low, and so a lot of the people are speaking Hindi, but they can't read and write. Uh, access to technology, access to computers, um, and in particular, access to broadband internet. Um, if all you have is a very slow internet connection, it can be very uncomfortable to edit Wikipedia. It just takes too long and it slows you down. Um, additionally, um, the, um, let's see, what did I say, the, the, the uh, this access computers, uh, oh, in, in a lot of languages, including Hindi, uh, they have a lot of problems with the keyboards, actually. Um, they've had a really hard time achieving standards. It's very hard. Uh, most of the people in India who are working on computers are working in English. Uh, the very large IT sector are very successful, uh, but the, the, the elite people who are able to afford a computer, they're all able to speak in English, and so they end up doing a lot of things in English. And one of the reasons, even though they would prefer to work in their own mother tongue, uh, it's very difficult to type Hindi, for example, on an English keyboard. And so that problem is slowly being solved as more and more people are coming uh, to computer technology in India, uh, more and more people are getting Hindi keyboards or the standards have improved. It's becoming a lot easier for people to work um, in these languages. So uh, there are a lot of different factors that are beyond our control, uh, but for me one of my big focuses is uh, precisely trying to encourage the growth of Wikipedia um, in all of those languages. It's not as uh, dismal a situation as it might seem. The fastest growing languages um, today, are, English is not the fastest growing language, um, it's these languages of the developing world are really exploding in Wikipedia. Right now, English is um, less than 20% of the total uh, work in Wikipedia, uh, but I would expect in five or 10 years that English will be less than 10%. And so it's really about everyone in, on the, in the world is coming online and, and coming into Wikipedia. And I think that's really exciting. So how popular is Wikipedia? Um, well, we saw it's very popular here in this room, but um, in general, uh, all around the world, I'll just give some examples. These are numbers from Alexa. Uh, these are just a, a random sampling of countries, really. Fifth most popular website in Germany, sixth most popular in the US, ninth most popular in India, uh, ninth most popular in Japan. Uh, and this one, I think, is very interesting. We're the 14th most popular website in Iran. A lot of people don't think of Iran as being the kind of place that would embrace the uh, enlightenment values of Wikipedia, but in fact it is. Ordinary people um, in every country around the world really appreciate the idea of neutral, high quality, clear, basic information. And in a lot of places around the world that's very hard to come by. Um, and it's something that people are really passionate about being able to uh, get access to. Uh, so the uh, Farsi language Wikipedia is uh, doing very well. Uh, recently, as you probably are aware, they had elections there and then there was a lot of controversy after the elections. Uh, they had some, some rioting, uh, the opposition uh, didn't accept the results, uh, so on and so forth. And so I was concerned, I was wondering, what does the Farsi language Wikipedia say about this? Typically we know that in general, uh, Wikipedia <coughs> articles tend to be very balanced, very neutral, very calm. Um, and that's just the, the typical style of Wikipedia. But I wondered, you know, would this uh, encyclopedia be different uh, in Farsi? And so I had a friend who's fluent in both Farsi and English 
uh, translate the entry for me and try to make a very basic translation. Um, and what I found was that it was exactly what I hoped. Uh, the Farsi language Wikipedia was very neutral. It simply described what had happened. It was um, not taking sides one side or the other. It was just giving people that basic information that they needed, which is very important because the, the, the media there um, probably was uh, not doing uh, as good a job as they should have. And the alternative, people were going on uh, Twitter and Facebook and they're getting uh, sort of uncontrolled information, some of which was valid and some of which was not. And it was nice to see that Wikipedia was taking the typical, very calm approach to basically saying, well, look, here's the basic facts and, and not trying to make a judgment on that. So I was very pleased and proud to see that happen. Uh, this slide is uh, one that uh, I think is really interesting. When we, when we want to compare uh, Wikipedia across different cultures, um, it's interesting to think about what's popular in different cultures around the world. And I, this one is, is a kind of fun. Um, this was a study that was done, unfortunately Italian is not in the list, uh, but uh, this was several languages of Wikipedia, so English, Chinese, Japanese, French, German, Russian, and uh, what's it? Spanish, Spanish for the last one. Um, and it's looking at the most popular articles in Wikipedia and saying, well, what, what are they about? And so they put them into several categories. So one of the first things that you probably will notice here is the third one there, Japanese people love pop culture. Uh, popular culture is huge there. Um, and if you know anything about Japan, uh, this makes perfect sense. Uh, Japanese people really do love pop culture. Um, it's really big there, both uh, English uh, pop culture, but also Japanese pop culture. Um, they're really kind of obsessed with it, and so it's really not surprising at all. Um, if we look here, French, German, and Russian all have a much larger um, interest in geography uh, than in the English Wikipedia, um, which I think is uh, somehow um, very interesting. One of the things I thought was very interesting is that sex is in the top topics um, everywhere except in the uh, French and the Spanish uh, Wikipedia. Uh, someone said that's because they're actually having sex. <laughs> and uh, everyone else is just writing about it, but uh, I don't know if that's true, but I just thought it was sort of interesting. Uh, so all together, all around the world, um, Wikipedia has become incredibly popular. This chart, I've been trying to get them to make me a new one. This one's a little bit out of date. Uh, so in terms of popularity, we now have uh, 330 million visitors monthly. Uh, this is according to Comscore. Uh, but we've actually dropped. We're no longer the fourth most popular website. We're now the fifth. So even though we've been growing, um, another website has passed us in terms of uh, total number of visitors every month. Um, it is not AOL. America Online is uh, not um, all that innovative, so they're not growing really. But uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook has really exploded. In just the past few months, they've gone from where they are, they've, they've passed us, um, and they're growing still uh, 10 to 20 percent per month. So I expect uh, within the next year or two, Facebook is going to be uh, comparable in size in terms of the number of visitors to uh, uh, Yahoo, Microsoft, and Google. I mean, they really are becoming quite important and quite dominant, and so I think that's uh, very interesting. So when I tell people all about um, all of this work that's going on, how huge it is, people are often imagining that the organization behind this uh, must have thousands of employees and we must have a big building somewhere. Um, and they think maybe I'm flying around in uh, my own private jet or something like this, but none of that is true. Um, Wikipedia is owned and operated by uh, charity, by the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, this is a nonprofit organization that I founded uh, several years ago. Uh, and we have a global staff now, uh, this is a little bit out of date, we have a global staff of 25 people worldwide. Uh, so all of this work that's going on, um, the number five most popular website on the internet, uh, is managed by a very, very small group of people, and it's a fairly remarkable organization. When we look back at all of the other uh, organizations uh, in the top ten, they're all huge, multi-billion dollar corporations, um, whereas we're just a, a small staff of people um, and then a huge global community of volunteers. 